Have you seen this? It's called 3M Extract, and in the last year, it has quickly become one of the most popular and effective sandpapers on the market. But it didn't happen overnight. In fact, Extract was in the making for over a hundred years. In this video, I'm not gonna tell you about how it's the fastest cutting, longest lasting, virtually sawdust free, and most cost effective sandpaper a consumer can get. That's already been said, and it's true. I'm also not gonna bore you with a test like the thorough one Mike Taylor did or the recreation of that test that the Old Testament cat did. Those tests are impressive and they prove all the claims influencers make. I'll link to those below if you want to audit the test data for yourself, do a deep dive and take the red pill. This video is different. Come here. I have a source who has a source inside the 3M operation and I've uncovered six surprising secrets about this sandpaper that no one is talking about and you will find them fascinating. Now this information changed the way that I think about sandpaper and I think it'll do the same for you. So congratulations on clicking on this video. You're about to learn some juicy details that all the influencers and retailers selling this stuff don't know. And the best part about it is as a result of our time together when it comes to the sandpaper, you'll be able to pull a Ron Swanson on almost anybody, anywhere. And if you don't know who Ron Swanson is, I'm sorry and you're welcome. Hi there. Is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. All right. The history of 3M, Cubitron, and a competitor's patent. 3M was founded in 1902, and by 1905, they began manufacturing a single product, not sticky notes, abrasive sandpaper, and the first in the world to do it commercially. Now, we take this stuff for granted these days, but 117 years ago, there was no sandpaper. As the product got into the hands of woodworking plants in the automotive industry, 3M did something that any good business does. They followed up to see the product and how it could improve. Now that core follow-up is important because without it and without that action in the early 1900s, we wouldn't have extract today. And here's why. As the 3M sales managers visited workers in these plants and factories, they saw how the sandpaper performed and failed. Problems with sandpaper quality led to 3M to establish its first research lab and quality control program in 1914 and that lab is one of the reasons that it's still in business today and you have that lab to thank if you like extract. Now by 1914 3M invented the triamite cloth sandpaper and it was a hit and they finally made some money. By 1921 3M patented and introduced the 3M wet or dry waterproof sandpaper. It was the world's first water resistant coated abrasive. Just within 19 years of its founding 3M became the global leader in abrasive research and that's important as well as manufacturing. Now, if you fast forward all the way to 1985, when I was two and still in diapers, 3M patented an alumina-based crushed ceramic abrasive grain and marketed it under the trademark Cubitron. Nice. But that's not the Cubitron that we're all familiar with this product. Seven years later in 1992, 3M patented the process of manufacturing a precision-shaped miniature triangular grain made via a micro-replication process. And because they're creative and brilliant marketers, they called that product Cubitron 2. Now that was 1992. It wouldn't be for another 17 years in 2009 until 3M first launched Cubitron 2 as a branded abrasive product. But it wasn't sandpaper. They were grinding and cutoff wheels for the automotive and aerospace industries. So how do we get from Cubitron 2 in the form of a cutoff wheel and sanding disc for the metal workers to this extract disc that woodworkers use today? One word, Merca. For years, Merca had the lockdown on the net sanding disc, but in 2015, the Merca mesh patent expired and it opened the door for 3M to enter the net disc market. That was back in 2015, and it would take another six years for 3M to do something with it beyond cutoff wheels and fiber discs. In 2021, 3M finally combined their Cubitron 2 triangular abrasive with Merca's net technology that was no longer protected under a patent, and that's how we got the Extract Cubitron 2 net disc. This net disc took more than 20 years to develop with the assist from a competitor via an expired patent. By combining legendary precision-shaped grain technology with a net backing 3M Extract Cubitron 2 net disc achieved an industry-leading cut rate, longevity, cost savings while allowing for virtually 
dust free savings. Now that sounds like I just got sponsored and I promise you 3M doesn't know who I am and hasn't paid me to sponsor this video. In fact, this video is not sponsored by anybody, just in case you were curious. Triangles that stand at attention. Cubitron 2 is a super hard ceramic that behaves like carbide. Like carbide, it's super hard, but it's brittle. So when it breaks, it breaks easy. But 3M took advantage of that. When the Cubitron 2 abrasive breaks down, it exposes a new sharp edge, and that's why it lasts so long. It's kind of brilliant. Now the key difference between Cubitron 1 and Cubitron 2 is the shape of the abrasive. Cubitron 1 is just crushed ceramics in the shape of a rock. No, nope, not that rock. Yep, that rock. Cubitron 2 is in the shape of a triangle. Kinda. Now here's an example of what they actually look like, and this is a rare early sample of Cubitron 2. Pretty gnarly when you look at it. Now when you combine the carbide-like qualities of super hard ceramic with the shape of these triangles, you get an abrasive that is harder and stays sharp longer the more you use it and the more it breaks down, which is pretty brilliant. But there was one last challenge that 3M had to solve. How do you get these abrasives to stand up at attention so that they're perpendicular to the work surface? You don't want these triangles to just lay flat on their side. Now 3M won't officially say how they do this, but most likely it's through static electricity of some sort. Now, However they do it, it looks pretty cool. They look like soldiers in the shape of saw blades standing at attention ready to go to work. Pretty gnarly. You see this weird geometric pattern? That's the third secret. It's not by accident and it's not for looks. 3M tested close to a hundred different patterns until they found the pattern that gave them the best performance of both cutting and sawdust removal. 3M won't tell anyone the exact number of patterns they tested, but the rumor on the street is that it was close to 90 different patterns they tested. For whatever reason, this chevron pattern worked the best. Did you know that woodworkers were close to never knowing about extract? From the start, 3M designed Cubitron for the metalworking community. If you're a consumer woodworker and you have extract and love it, you have Mike Taylor from Taylor Toolworks to thank for you being able to hold this stuff in your hands. He's the first one who tested it on wood and saw how amazing it was and made it available to the woodworking community. Now, more recent 3M catalogs include extract as a recent addition to their 3M woodworking offerings, but it wasn't always that way. For proof, look at this early 3M Cubitron 2 promotional video. Notice how they end it. No woodworking mentioned and no sandpaper mentioned. Festool, Merca, and even Diablo have net discs. And in those cases, the net is the abrasive. Now 3M also has that version too, but it doesn't cut as fast as the 710W extract. The 710W is more than a net because it has the extra abrasive material on top of the net, as you can see in this purple pattern. The net mesh is great because it catches the dust at the source. When your paper has only five holes, you're dependent on having the sawdust close to the hole so that it can be sucked away. That's why these papers mostly suck at dust extraction, but not in the way you want them to suck. They actually suck because they suck at sucking. The Extract 710W net disc is what you want if dust collection is a priority. But if you don't need superior dust collection, you should pass on the extract because there's a better option. I know, hot take. For example, if you're a wood turner and you're using a bowl sander on your lathe, you're better suited getting the Cubitron 2 775L. It has the same abrasive, Cubitron 2, that's on extract. There's just tons more of it and fewer holes for dust extraction. You'll get more for your money, cut faster, and it's more durable on the edges. In that case, the 775 will perform much better for you than extract. Many people confuse Extract with Cubitron 2 and therefore miss all the other Cubitron 2 products that are available and I first made that mistake because I thought they were one and the same. This is important to get straight. Cubitron 2 is the wicked awesome triangle shaped abrasive. The Extract variants are the products that have Cubitron 2 applied in various ways to a net disc. You get great sanding and fantastic dust collection. Now this stuff is cheap but it's not as durable because of the net edges can break down quicker than the film back siblings. There's other Cubitron 2 siblings that you want to get to know. There's so many and I'll link to the 3M page if you want to take the red pill and see everything they have to offer. The two main ones that I think every maker should have are the 775L versions. They have Cubitron 2 abrasives and you can get it in standard hook and loop with a universal dust extraction pattern and you can get it with an adhesive back which is pretty cool. The hook and loop is the best cutting Cubitron 2 sandpaper. It's just more expensive and the dust collection isn't as superb as extract, but it's still very good. 
but it is more expensive than Extract, which is why a lot of people like Extract. The adhesive back 775L is super tough and its versatility is only limited by your creativity. In fact, if you want to take your finishing game to the next level, the next video I'm working on will show you several clever shop made jigs that you can make for cheap using the 775L adhesive back paper. You'll be able to have high end sandpaper that lasts for the unique specific needs that you have around your shop without spending a lot of money. Now, if you wanna see that video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss it, it's coming up next. Now, if you wanna get Cubitron 2 in any of its forms, I'll include a link below to the place where I get it from. Prices on this stuff are about to go up because of the I word, but for a limited time, Taylor Toolworks is running a sale, I think it's 20% off, where you can get the lowest price possible on Cubitron 2 ever. So if you need some, now's the time to get it. I'm stocking up. Peace.